Hi, everybody. Been a busy week. My parents uh, are elderly, of course, and uh, they came down with pneumonia, so we took them to the hospital and been spending the night with them off and on, trading nights with my sister. And uh, it's been pretty tiring. But my parents, uh, they have bilateral pneumonia, which means they have congestion in both lungs. My dad's 84, my mom's 83. And my dad's stroke victim. Mom gets around on a walker. And so we had to, had to do things like help them to the potty chair and, and help them go to the restroom and, and uh, you know, my dad has to go expel urine every three or four hours, so I'm there with the urinal. I'm being, it's really the first time as an adult that you're, I'm taking care of my parents because they're not able to take care of themselves being sick like this. So it's a big experience. It's not as bad as you think. The first time, the first night, you're thinking, oh my God, there's my dad naked and I've got up here. But uh, you really get some blessings out of it. So if you haven't gone through that stage of taking care of your folks like this, you know, realize there's surgical gloves on the wall in the uh, hospital room and put those on and just go to town. And uh, our hospital has a recliner bed that I sleep on. So that's what I've been doing. I've been sleeping on the recliner bed. And uh, my wife's been helping with my mom. She's checking the laundry right there. We've come home tonight. My sister's taking care of it. But my dad's heart rate, um, I think it was just in the middle of the night last night, got down to 30. 30 beats per minute and they rushed in there and his heart rate went back up but they took him off metaprolol but my dad i guess liked to have died at that time i didn't realize it but my my mother kind of let me know about it so it's interesting and my mom uh, my mom had a real bad coughing spell and she thought she was getting worse and there was a time 20 or 30 years ago when people in their 80s got pneumonia, they were pretty much dead. But now I guess they, they're getting breathing treatments and antibiotics, so they're not in ICU. But I just want to let you know what I've been doing. It's been, a, it's been an experience. So y'all keep my mom and dad in your, in your prayers. And my sister, all of this, this is kind of taking a toll on us taking care of them. So, you know, I kind of want to share that. This is, um, I don't know how you say it. It's, it's, it's a stage in your life you, you go through. Once you start it, you know that you've passed the stage. And this is where you take care of your, your parents. You know, I think uh, Colonel Sanders said, once a man, twice a child. When you're born, you're a child, you grow older and you're a man. And then when you get older and you can't take care of yourself, you're a child again. So that's kind of like what my folks are. So uh, I don't know. I just kind of want to share it. I, I know I'm kind of monotone, but I'm really tired. <laughs> I'm really tired. You spend the night at the hospital. Let's see, this is Saturday night, and Tuesday morning, I think, it's when we, early Tuesday morning, it was so cold, it was in the 20s, when we took them to the hospital, and you sit in an emergency room for like five hours, till they decide to admit them, and it's just very, very tiring, but they're still alive. Pray for my mom and dad, Richard and Joe. Richard and Josephine. 
And uh, I really could use your help. Y'all have a great day. Keep the Lord in number one in your life.